Dear students, today we are going to discuss the homogeneous catalysis by organometallic compounds. Myself, Dr. Digna Vargis. What is catalysis? The substance that alters the rate of a reaction but itself remains chemically unchanged at the end of the reaction is called a catalyst. The process is called catalysis. Catalyst increases the rate of a chemical reaction. Catalyst required in very small amounts to alter the reaction rate. Basis of catalysis. A catalyst lowers the activation energy for a reaction or transformation by introducing the new reaction pathway. In this case, that is the figure 1, with this reaction proceeds without the presence of catalyst. You can see here the activation energy is high here. But in the second figure, you can see the reaction proceed with a catalyst. The activation and energy without catalyst is shown in this figure as a dotted lines here. With catalyst, you can see the green line here. So, with the presence of catalyst, the activation energy for a reaction decreases. And it introducing a new reaction pathway and forms products after the reaction. Catalyst finds several uses in industry. Catalytic converters in automobiles. Platinum and palladium used as catalyst for converting exhaust gases to more inert forms. Thus reducing the air pollution. In fertilizer industry, ammonia production uses iron as catalyst. Industries for manufacturing of batteries, detergents, plastics, etc. Sulfuric acid production is using vanadium pentoxide as a catalyst. There are two types of catalyst. Catalysts are classified into two types that is homogeneous catalyst and heterogeneous catalyst. Homogeneous catalyst means the catalyst soluble in the reaction medium. Both the catalyst and the reactants are in the same phase or we can say that catalyst and the reagents are in the same phase. Catalyst, homogeneous catalyst show good selectivity. Homogeneous catalyst operates at low temperature and pressure. These are its advantages. But there is one disadvantage for the homogeneous catalyst that is separation from the product is very difficult. Heterogeneous catalyst means the catalyst insoluble in the reaction medium. That means the catalyst and the reagents are in the different phase. Advantages of the heterogeneous catalyst is that the separation from the product is very easy because it is insoluble in the reaction medium. But it has some disadvantages that is low selectivity. That means it is not give the 1900 percentage selectivity. It gives always mixture of products. Okay. Sometimes the side byproducts are 20 percentage and the major product is 80 percentage. So it gives only low selectivity. It operates at a high temperature and pressure when compared to homogeneous catalyst. Homogeneous catalysis. Homogeneous catalysis is 
catalysis in a solution by a soluble catalyst. The reactions where the catalyst is in the same phase as the reactants, principally in solution. Homogeneous catalysts are dissolved in a solvent with the substrates. Examples of homogeneous catalysis. We can see here various examples of homogeneous catalysis. The first reaction is the acid catalysis on the esterification of carboxylic acids. We can see here a carboxylic acid in the presence of acid catalyst. It forms ester and water. Second reaction is the hydroformylation reaction. Alkene in the presence of catalyst such as CO2-CO8 reacts with carbonyl, ligand and hydrogen. It forms hydroformylation products that is alkene converted into aldehyde. Another example of homogeneous catalysis is that Walker process. This is the oxidation of alkene to aldehyde. In the presence of tetrachloridophalidate 2 complex, another reaction is Monsanto acetic acid process in which the alcohol reacts with carbon monoxide in the presence of rhodium based catalyst to form acetic acid. Another reaction is Kataiva process. In this, this is similar to Monsanto acetic acid process, and here alcohol reacts with carbon monoxide, that is, methanol reacts with carbon monoxide in the presence of iridium based catalyst forming acetic. Acid. In the case of Monsanto acetic acid process, rhodium based catalyst is used. In the place of rhodium, here iridium is used. The same reaction occurs. It is homogeneous catalyzed reaction. Another one is olefin metathesis reaction. Example is here you can see the olefins interchanged to produce a new type of olefins in the presence of catalyst. Another one is hydrogenation reaction by Wilkinson's catalyst. Here you can see the alkene, terminal alkenes undergo hydro reduction and forming a saturated double bond here in the presence of Wilkinson's catalyst. Wilkinson catalyst is catalyst is that rhodium based catalyst. These are some examples of homogeneous catalyzed reactions. Thank you for your attention.